is Lindy. 안녕하세요, 여러분. 저는 미라라고요. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to dance without you by Golden Child. And I'll also be having subtitles down below, so click with CC if you'd like having subtitles. I'm going to be putting up a screen right now that has the times for everything. So if you just want to skip to a certain part, or you want to watch it just with counts at the very end, you can do that, and I'll also put it down in the description box below. Going to orient yourselves, I'm going to have a split screen now. So on one side you'll see mirrored, and on one side you'll see unmirrored. So whichever version you like watching, you can watch at any given point in time. So if I say raise your right hand, this is my right hand, it'll look like this. If I say raise your left hand, it'll look like this. If I say turn to the right, it looks like this. Turn to the left, it looks like this. Cool. So to begin, we're just going to do, we're going to split the course into three parts. And the first part, we're just going to start from the clack, from when they grab the neck right before the kind of the groove. Uh, so the, I'm going to be doing a mixture of counts and lyrics, but probably more counts than lyrics because the lyrics are kind of repetitive at this part. So to begin, it'll be five, six, on, you'll hear a clack, and that's going to be on the seven, eight. And so on the seven, you're going to land. So it'll be five, six, land, seven. And what that move is, is you're going to throw your head back at the same time as you land with your feet. And their right hand is going to grab their neck, and that's going to start a body roll from the top to the bottom. So it'll be five, six, seven, without. So it'll be seven, eight. And you're going to step forward on the one. So they'll start saying without on the eight count. Yeah. So after the seven, eight on you, which is the one beat, you're going to take a step forward. And some of the people have their hands in their pocket at this point, some of them just kind of keep them at their hips in making it look like they're in their pocket. So you can pick whichever you prefer. If you have pockets, put your hands in them. If you don't, you don't have to. Uh, yeah. So after the seven, eight, you're just going to take one step forward. And when you land, so your shoulders the whole time for this groove, it's kind of like if you've ever swam before and you've done like backstroke and you move your shoulders like this, you can kind of start with that and then like make your hands smaller if that helps you because I know some people this is kind of a weird movement but you're just rolling your shoulders backwards 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 like you're doing backstroke and so when you step forward you're going to start with your left shoulder that's going to initiate it up so when you step forward your shoulder is going to push up at the same time as you go down and then when you move backwards you're kind of hitting Kind of like imagine that you're trying to hit up, 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 up on either side. So each time you rock, you're trying to hit up. So when you move forward, you're going to whiff out one on the one. Just stop on the first step. You can just do like flat footed, but really kind of get strong and hit up with your left shoulder. And then on every whiff out one, two, three, you're going to rock back and forth. And what that rock is is it's basically if like you're doing, so if you were looking forward and you had your feet like, right, so feet like this, if your feet are like this, if you're kind of just rocking from side to side and the weight of your body is more in your toes and that will allow, if you see some of the members, they'll kind of pick up their feet a little bit and that's because most of the weight is in their toes as opposed to being just like flat footed and like rocking your hips like that, which is more of like a girl group dance move or something. So you're going to have your weight in your toes, and that will allow you to, when you rock your body, kind of softly place, place, place. So if we do it forward, it's going to look like this. Without you, two, three. So we're doing three rocks. So it'll be one, two, three. And your shoulders come down kind of with your heels. So it'll be if they come up on the first, up on the first step, then they're kind of up when you're switching your weight and then they come down. If you look at my heels, it'll come down. So that, yeah, that's what your shoulder's doing. So if we face the side, it'll be seven, eight, one, two, three. And when they do it, they also kind of, their head is kind of giving you the side eye. They're, they're at least the person in front does it where they kind of look forward at a point so it's like 45 degree angle there if you're angling your head and then you look towards the camera. So it'll be without you, two, three, 
on and four, your hands are going to come up to this position. So what this is, is your right hand, it's in your pocket right now, theoretically, or by your side, whatever. It's going to scoop up, so you're gonna scoop, like you're scooping something towards you. It's gonna scoop, and then push to the right. And your left hand is just coming up to cover your mouth, like that. So after the one, two, three, and four, Make sure your right hand's just landing on the four and your left hand's landing at the same time as your right hand comes out. And what your feet are doing at this point is your left foot is just sliding back, kind of like you're pushing with your right hand and that's pushing your left foot to come into this, is this a curtsy position? I think, whatever this is, like your left foot in front of the right foot like this. And so then your final position on the four count will be this, so hand covering. So it'll be, after you rock, it'll be one, two, three, and four on five, six, seven. So on five, six, seven, your left heel is gonna tap. It'll be tap, tap, tap. And while it's tapping, if the right wall is a clock, your hand is going to rotate clockwise. And if the ceiling is a clock, your head is also gonna rotate clockwise. So while uh, one, two, three, and four, while your foot is tapping, it'll be, rolling with both your head and your hand. Five, six, seven. So after your hand is up here, so you've done the, the tapping with your foot, five, six, seven, on the A and, your left hand is going to come scoop in and then push to behind your head. And that's gonna also kind of let your head go to the left. And while that happens, your feet are going to reset and you're going to go right, left. So when your hands are up here, it'll be five, six, seven, eight, and. And your left hand's just gonna come down by your side. Does that make sense? So after the five, six, seven, eight, and, and that'll also be on the without if you're going by lyrics, it'll be without. Good, and so at this point, I'm kind of pushed more to the left. Their kind of body weight is prepped more to the left. So it's not, even in the center, it's a little bit up off of your heel, your right heel, and body weight over here. And that's kind of also like you're pushing yourself with your right hand, leaning to the left. Good, so after this, without a and, on the U, U, so a and one, two, what you're just gonna be doing is your head is kind of like coming under, it's kind of like if you're bringing your right hand up and over your head, but you're just gonna have two stops in the middle. So after the without one, two, and then after on the three and four, you're gonna be doing a bit of a body roll. So your hand is gonna come down and it's going to trace your body as you do a mild body roll, but it's just kind of the upper half of your body. So after the one, two, three, and four, so on the four at the end of the body roll, you're up here on the three and, and then on four, your right hand is gonna press down to the ground and you're gonna push yourself even more to the left so that you're uh, kind of lunging to the left. And now most of my body pressure, like weight, should be on my left foot. Good, so after the eight and one, two, three and four, this is the four on the, so this is the part uh, when they do the kind of that movement. And so the counts for this, without one, two, three and four, it'll be on the and of four, uh, and then the E and for E and of, yeah, yeah. So after one, two, three, and four, and five, on the and of five, and, and then five, what your left shoulder is doing is it's just kind of, kind of like the rock we had from the, the main movement. You're just going to roll it back, yeah. Uh, so the first one, um, three and four and five, uh, if you count, and so that was the next part for the counts for these, it's just, if you go, if you're counting and you have one and two and etc., then you also have one E and uh, two E and uh, if you're counting by four notes a piece. So on this one, it'll be uh, four and five E and, uh, so on the E of five, your hand is gonna come down between your legs and your knees are gonna twist in. E and on the and of five is when you're then going to, your right hand's gonna kind of grab your thigh 
and you pull yourself to the right, and that's when your body, wish, body weight shifts so that your right leg is now the one like in, so now you're lunging on your right leg. Does that make sense? So after the one, two, three, and four, and five, E, and a six. And what you're doing with your shoulders is you're kind of just continuing that roll. So after the four and five, you're kind of, it's a little weird, and <laughs> but you just kind of continue rolling. So kind of just let your shoulders move, kind of like if you're right shoulder is kind of following your hand down and then up, that might be an easier way to think of it. So your right shoulder is kind of, when your hands come down, it comes down with your hands, and then as your hand pulls up your right leg, it kind of like pulls your right shoulder to lift up there too. And so that's basically the movement they're doing. So if we go back to the beginning of this little movement, it'll be uh, after the five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three and four and five e and a six seven then they're going to move on the eight and so you kind of just hold for a hot sec and then they move formations so but if you're doing it solo you can just whatever <laughs> so on the eight and it'll be the low c low c low c five six seven eight and you can kind of just use that to prep yourself and they're going to be uh, moving to the right so you can do like a left right with your steps so five, six, seven, eight, and one. So you're just bringing your hands, they're sliding up along the body. And as you do this, no up, si, no up, si. I kind of have myself on my toes a little bit. So body weight on your toes, and that'll allow you to move up and down with each beat and each swipe of your hands. So after the five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, this is just coming up and then they kind of come up to the front and they're going to cross. I have my right hand closer to my body, and as they cross, they're gonna then open, and then your right hand is gonna be behind your head and your left hand is just at your chest, pulling. So it'll be seven, eight, and one, two, cross, three, and then on the four and, your right hand's gonna come down first, four and. So it'll be four and, five, six, throw seven. So the five, six is just, you're pulling kind of like if you had your hands down, you're like pulling your shirt up. It would be like pulling your shirt up and then just placing your hands back down again. And then after that, you're just going to throw up. And as you throw, your right foot's going to follow your hand throwing up. Good. So after the no up si, no up si. Oh, and as we're doing this, so like I said before, you're going to be leaning up and down. So you're kind of kind of body weight up and pressing up as your hands come up. And then when you come back, you kind of uh, shift your chest to kind of face the front again so your leg will kind of turn a little bit and that's before you move to the next position. No up si. So each time you're kind of lifting up when your hands come up then when your hands are kind of prepping you cross back to the front and then you prep up to the right again cross back to the front prep up to the right and then after the last no up si and throw on the the lyrics that we come how to go on then day you're just going to basically walk backwards. So after the no up C, si, no up C, si, no up five, six, throw seven, eight, it'll just be one, two. So on the one, two, you're just going to bring your hand and just kind of trace along your body and turn your body so your chest is facing the right wall. Uh, tanharu do, uh, yeah, tanharu do and then walk, walk, walk. So they just kind of walk back and then forward at this point. Good. So one more time from the tracing. So it'll be five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, throw, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, walk, walk, walk. Good. Five, six, clack, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, Three and four and five e and a six seven eight and one two three four and five six throw seven eight one two three four five six seven prep and so so after this part is going to bring us into section B of the chorus or what I'm calling B uh, so that's going to be when they do the windmill things. Good. So after we do the hands brought down and we walk backwards, then we're going to do walk five, six, seven. 
eight and. So on the eight, they kind of do this beginning of each part of the course is they prep on the eight and, and then, yeah, it's basically how it's going. So for this part, you're going to step out with your right than your left, and you're gonna have them like shoulder width itch, maybe a little bit bigger than shoulder width apart, kind of you have a triangle with your legs. And as you prep out with your feet, your hands are going to like pinwheel, so they are going to like, imagine you grab like a handle and you're trying to circle it. So your right hand is going to be going clockwise first and your left hand is going to be going counterclockwise while you do this. So yeah, it's going to look like this motion. And then, yeah, and after one of these turns, your hands are going to end up behind your back. So as you prep, it'll be five, six, seven, eight. Your hands are kind of up when you step down and they should be finished, the pinwheels and behind your back. Good. So after that, eight and, and so again, we're gonna have the weird left shoulder hit back thing or roll thing, uh, kind of like you had for this move. Uh, so it'll be eight and one. You're gonna do that on the one count, one and two. So on the two, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of hop on your right foot. And when you hop on your right foot, you're gonna land in a little bit of like a baby lunge because when you land in that lunge, your left foot is gonna have, is gonna go out. So when you jump, you kind of land in a lunge position. And, and as you do this, it'll be a very, very small jump. It's not like a big jump, it's very small. Uh, so eight and one on the two is when you land. So you land on the two, and as you do that, you're also, your hands are gonna quickly go up and grab and pull something down. And as you pull something down, you kind of bring your body, kind of like if you have a, a bar, and you're like bringing your body up, kind of imagine that. So it's gonna be a little bit of a roll as you bring your leg in and your body up. So that'll be on the um, one, two, three. So it'll be one, two, three, you're gonna last that. And then on the and four, kind of like the and four we had on the first part, it's well, the same thing. And four, and then again, you're going to five, six, seven. So this, that little move is the exact same as the beginning. So one more time from the beginning of this course, it'll be five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. Good. So after the five, six, seven, you're going to jump, uh, you're gonna jump into your next position. Your legs are just going to flatten out, so you're gonna make them again a bit, bit wider than shoulder, shoulder width. Your left hand is going to be in front of your body. I think they kind of have like loose fists uh, happening here and your right hand is gonna grab up and pull down. So it's kind of like you're, if you're grabbing something from above you and then you're pushing it and then your body away as you pull it down, kind of like this movement. So yeah, so your hands are doing, so your left hand is gonna come up, your right hand is going to pull down, pull your body to the left, and your legs are just going to keep your body weight mostly on your left foot and your right toe. Because when you pull down, you're going to twist your right leg. And so you're gonna twist your knee in, and that'll help with the movement of twisting your body to the left and away from your hand. So after the pull, it'll be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. So on the one is when you're going to land and pull at the same time. So you're gonna land and quickly pull and push your knee. So it'll be one on the two, your body weight, so right now your body weight is lunged to the left. On the two, you're going to bring your body weight back to center by grabbing your throat with your left hand and doing a body roll. So it'll be one, two, three. So the body roll, it kind of, you don't really go all the way down. You kind of do mostly the top half of your body. Two, three, on the four, you're going to take your hand, your right hand is going to sweep down and push your left foot back. And now your body weight should be on your right foot and your left foot has just been just like thrown back, okay? So one, two, three, four, on the five, six, and there's gonna be like the do 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 that part. So on the five, six, what you're doing is kind of like the rock from the course. You just kind of rock forward, back, and you can move your shoulders a little bit with it too, that same kind of backstroke uh, rhythm you had going. So after the five, six, while you're doing that, your hands, they're kind of like gonna come hither, 
position and they uh, most of them looked like they had two hands doing it. So they had the rock forward, rock back. So this time you do rock forward, back, and then on the do, 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 do. So it'll be five, six, seven. On the seven, you're going to hit your shoulders, your left shoulder back and your right shoulder forward. Yeah. So it'll be five, six, hit, seven, eight. They kind of jump to a new position. So you can just kind of use that to prep back in the middle. Eight. And then on the next one, it'll be the tamoncho poyoso, that part. So on the tamoncho poyoso, you're going to seven, eight, and one. On the one, you're going to prep on the and of eight. And that prep is going to be hopping on your right foot. And then on the one feet, you're going to uh, bring your hands up your sides. And as you do that, that kind of twists your body. So right now your right leg is bent. And then you're going to straighten out that right leg. And then that's going to give you a kind of turn of your body to the right. So they still have their heads forward, but their body kind of turns to the right when they do this first forward part. So after the and, the will be and one, two, on the two, you're just going to keep your head in place, but you're going to take your hands and now you're like serving a platter forward and pushing your hips back so that your hips are now, first they were twisted sideways and now your hips are twisted towards the front. So it'll be and one, two, and then on the three, four, they're going to set up, it's a little bit awkward with your feet, I feel like, but you know, one, two, they're going to first bring it back, like you're bringing back the platter, you offered it out to the people, now you want to eat it all yourself. So you're going to bring your right foot backwards a little bit, and then your left foot back, and then that's going to make them even. And so while you're doing this, your right hand comes back with your right foot, and then on the left foot, your hands are then going to touch your body and trace it while your body weight shifts to the left. So they're going to start on opposite sides of your body and just come across, and you can kind of, your head can kind of follow your right hand when you're doing this. So one more time from the beginning of this, you'll go and one, two, three, four. On the five, six, your hands are going to pinwheel. Um, they're basically going to go around like this. Your right hand is going to go down first and your left hand is going to come up. So they're going to twist, and when they're untwisted again, just do the singular lull, your right wrist is going to end up, end up right at your temple and your left hand is just by your side and your left leg has now come in this bent. So after you come here, when you twist around, you bring in your left foot, right hand comes up. And this will be like, moldui gonaso is that part. The counts will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what that is, is you're kind of just like, oh no, I can't, oh no, I can't. It's kind of like that exaggerated head movement. So you're making like a figure eight. So it'll be five, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the one, two, you're going to jump up on the one. So you're going to jump up on your left foot. And as you jump up, your hand comes away and your right knee comes up. And it'll be one, two. So you're going to go up and then down. So more than out, you're just kind of going up. And your hand is knee and kind of doing the same thing. So be one, two, and right now your right arm is kind of out. But then on the three, you're going to pull your right arm in. And what you're doing is kind of you're leading with your shoulder. So kind of think your left shoulder is going to come around and drag your left foot forward. So after the one, two, and three, three pull in and your left foot. Uh, is going to come forward in the drag. Three, four. Your right hand is just going to stay by your side, but you're now going to kind of use your shoulders to bring your right side forward. That make sense? Good. So one more time from here, it'll be one, two, three, four. And then, unless you're the person doing the solo, all the other members bring their right foot over and they just spin to the next place. So you can add the spin if you want to. So putting that all together will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They just keep walking to their places. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, prep in, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, jump, one, two, three, four, five, six, hit, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up, one, down, two, three, four, turn, five, six, seven, eight, and seven, eight, and one. On the one is when you're going to slide, they kind of continue sliding to their place. So they use the one as a slide of a movement, so whichever way you're going. So we five, seven, eight, and one, and two, and. So what this is, is after the one, your hands are then going to both come up and cross out. And when you land, you're going to land with your legs wider than shoulder width, uh, kind of squatted down, and your gaze is gonna be down, and your hands are gonna be out. So it'll be one, two, and. On the and, your legs are just gonna come back with your left leg in front, and your hands are going to cross and come out. So kind of like your flower blooming open, so they're gonna, yeah, open like that. So one more time with the count, so we five, six, seven, eight, and slide, and two, and three, and. Good, so after that, so one, two, and three, and on the four, and, you're going to uncross your legs again. You're gonna slice to the left with your right hand's gonna be down like your pinky kind of towards your body. And then you're kind of, kind of like you're slicing something like this, but you're gonna slice it to the left. And as you do that, you're, the first part, your right leg is going to slice with your uh, body weight shift to the left. And then you're gonna bring it back. As your right hand comes back, it's gonna pull your body to the right and you're gonna be leaning to the right uh, in a lunge with most of your body weight on your right toe now. So one more time, so after the two and three and four and, this is on the four and five, you're just going to stay with your body weight on the right, but your left hand is gonna come push your right uh, elbow up on the five, and then on the and six is when you're gonna switch your body weight back. So on the and six, after five, your right hand's gonna start and your right hand is going to kind of wrap or going to circle around your left one. And your left hand, it just kind of stays in place, making sure to touch your uh, right like elbow area, kind of tracing it the whole time. So after, the, after here, and it pushes up, then your right hand is going to roll. And when one, once you've done one full roll, you're going to end with your right palm up, and your body weight then pushes to the left. So now you're leaning, you're lunging with your left foot, and your right leg is straight. So adding that all together, from here to the slide, it'll be one and, or bend down, it can be one and two and three and four and five and a six, seven, on the seven, eight, your right hand is gonna come up and you kind of do little circles with your elbows you're gonna bring your right hand up in a circle and then when it touches your left elbow, when it's kind of at the left side of the circle, it's then going to drag your elbow and your left foot behind your body. So your left foot is gonna be dragged here while your crossed arms and your body turns to the right. So after the turn, so after it comes around, push the right turn, then you're going to step back with your left foot. Left hand is gonna be push down towards the ground, and then your right wrist again is going to hit your shoulder, and that's gonna initiate a body roll starting with your uh, head, body roll down. Good, so the count, the count for that after the one, two, and three, four, and five, and a six, ooh, this will get on the ooh, ooh, but if you want to count this, seven, eight, and one. So it'll be seven, eight, and one, and, on the two, you're going to slice your hands down again. So when you slice, it's your right hand coming down, your left hand coming up to your right shoulder. Your body weight's now gonna be on your left foot and you're just gonna bring up your left heel, or your right heel. So it'll be one and two and. So it'll be one, one and slice and three. On this, you're just going to, they kind of start tracing with a body roll. It's just the same as Kind of the neck wrap in the beginning but now you're facing the front so you're going to start here 
and then before you can go all the way down to the bottom, you're going to leg comes in and then prep out to the left. And what this is, is just basically body roll and hands are open. You're kind of, it's kind of like a what position, but now you're tilted to the side. And your body weight's, uh, you're kind of on your toe of your left foot. A lot of your body weight's lunging to the left. Good. So after this, uh, slice, two and three, four and five, and a six, seven, eight, and one, two and three, and four, five and six, five and six, ooh, this will be like on the ooh, and I did that part. So five and six, land uh, with your hand in your pocket or just by your side in the looking like your pocket, right hand uh, kind of at your neck. Okay, and six on the ooh, what they're doing is just, uh, now it's more of like a freestyle. So instead of going backwards before, now it's like you're going forward with the freestyle because you're gonna kind of hitting down instead of hitting up. So before it was hitting up, hitting up, and now it's hitting down and down. And so I kind of think more strong on my right shoulder is the one who's kind of initiating all the movement because you're going to be twisting your body to the front and to the front. So on the first one, they're just uh, bodies angled like this. On the first, ooh, ooh. So you just bring your elbow, your right elbow and your shoulder around, hit and hit. So on the second one, you're gonna change your level a bit. So on the first one, it's still kind of up and it'll be hitting. Make sense? So that you're gonna be hitting down. So you're changing your level. Yeah. And four, five, and six, and seven, eight, and one, and two. So on the two, one, and two, you're going to, hands are going to come up, kind of like you're lifting up your suitcases, and you're going to hit your left toe. Uh, your toe is just going to come in and, and hit down. One, and two, and. So that's going to be a really quick movement. So you're going to hit on the two and on the and, your legs are going to spread open and your hands are just going to come up like, why did you do this to me? Type thing uh, with your palms open. Yeah. So we have one and two and three and on the four and they're going to hop to the front and kind of, some of them bend their legs a little bit. So you can kind of, when you cross your hands, your knees are going to come in bent a little bit and then open up with your hands. Two and three and four and so it'll be four and, and you're kind of leaned forward a little bit. You're not just like sitting straight up. Your chest is a little bit down. Four and, five and. So this is just right hand behind your head. Switch and you kind of like slice down with the opposite hand. Four and five. Two and three and, four and, five and, five and six. So your hands are kind of just loosely open. They're not straight and they're not fists. They're just kind of like loose. This whole time, six on the and seven, eight, you're going to, uh, if, you're the, if you're the front person, you're going to roll around. So your hands, if the front is a clock, they're just following clockwise, both of your hands. Like there's a ball here and you're wrapping around them. So we five, six on the seven, you're just going to end up, so right now your right hand is uh, on top. On the seven, you're going to lunge forward and kind of leaning, kind of get your levels down and your left hand is going to be on the top of the like giant basketball that you're holding on the seven count and then on the eight they're just going to go the opposite direction and come back to normal good so it'll be so coming from here it'll be one and two and three and four and five and six seven eight and then this is the without 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 that part on the first one one two you're just going to Bring your hands back down to your sides and really kind of roll your shoulders like there's a giant circle. You're kind of bending in the waist so that you can go down. So it'll be without, without, so it'll be on the one, two, and three, four. You're seeing shoulders from the, you know, the groove. You're just going to do left, right. So it'll be one, two, three, four. And then there, the next is the last part. You're just going to twist your body to the right, and then hands crossed, without, without. You're gonna take your wrists and put them together, and then your 
right wrist is going to be on the closer to your body and then it's going to bend and then switch and bend. So from the shoulders it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the seven, eight, they just turn to the left and they kind of go into different positions. And that's the end of the chorus. Seven, eight, and slide. Two and three, four and five, and a six. Seven, eight, and one. Two and three, and four, five and six. Ooh, 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 ooh. Two and three, and four, five and six. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn seven, eight. Now I'm going to go through and do the whole song with counts. If you want it with music and kind of bringing it up from like a slower speed to a faster speed, the link for that video will be down in the description and it'll have it going at 80%, 90%, 100% with the different sections so you can follow along and slowly build it up with music. Five, six, clack, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, Seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, and five, eight, and a six. Seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six. Throw seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Prep and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Jump one, two, three, four, five, six. Hit seven, eight, and one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, up, one, down, two, three, four, turn, five, six, seven, eight, and slide, two, and three, four, and five, and a six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, ooh, 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 two, and three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, turn, seven, eight. Okay guys, that's all for the video today. Let me know how you liked it. If it was hard, easy, you'd like something different, let me know how it is below. Let me know what other songs you'd like to see a tutorial for, even if I haven't done a dance cover of them. Also check out my dance cover of this video and I'll put it in up, to up there and down in the links below. Make sure to watch the next video so that you can watch it with music, bringing it up to beat. We're gonna start off slowly and then going faster so that you can kind of follow with. I hope you had a good time watching today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.